Hello everyone. I welcome you all to Geek Skipped. First of all, a very happy new year to all of you. Today, I am going to show you how to install Android Studio. And after that, I am also going to create a simple Hello World Android project and how you can run that on your Android phone. So I am going to show you all of that so that you can run your app on your Android phone itself so that you don't need any sort of virtual device on your uh, you know desktop so that will save lot of space on your device and also will uh, you know able to see a good performance uh, on your android studio all right so you know let's dive in into our video and see how you can easily install android studio all right so for that first you need to go to your favorite browser and into at this board you need to just be search with android studio then download and hit enter and this will show you this download and the studio and app tools for android developers so you need to open that and it's going to redirect to the official site of android so here we are in android studio page so this link i'm going to put right in our description and here you can see that our latest version of android is android studio hedgehog and here you need to click on this download android studio hedgehog so you click on that it's going to show you this terms and condition page you need to scroll down and you need to accept this license agreement and you need to click on this download button when you click on that, it's going to start downloading our latest version of Android Studio. So I have already downloaded it, so I'll cancel this. I'll go to my download directory, and here you can see that the same version is already been downloaded over here. So you have to just simply double click on the installer in order to install it locally on our system. And it's going to ask you for administrative privileges. Just simply click on yes. And there you go. Welcome to Android Studio Setup. So let's minimize your download directory first and our browser as well and here you need to just simply click on next so here the point that i was talking about so it here it is telling that whether you'd like to install android virtual device as well as i have told you we are not going to use any virtual device we'll use our android phone itself to you know test our uh, android project that we are going to create all right so as soon as we uncheck that you can see that space required is currently 2.6 when you check that it, it was 3.6 right so one GB of space we are immediately reducing. So now you need to just simply click on next over here. So this is where our Android Studio is going to be installed, which is fine. Click on next. And they're going to create an Android Studio folder, which is again fine. Click on next. And there you go, our installation is rightly began. So let's wait for some time, you know, uh, it will take some time, three to four minutes. So once we are done with that, I'm going to again come back to this video. Yep. So we'll come back and now you'll clearly see that our Android Studio setup is successfully completed. So you can just simply click on next. So start Android Studio is selected, click on finish. So that will open our Android Studio. Before that, it will ask you whether you'd like to import previous settings. So I haven't installed Android Studio before here. So I select do not import settings, click on OK. And it will ask you whether you'd like to help Android Studio uh, to send some anonymous data you can click on send user statistics to google also not a problem for now i'll just you know simply click on don't send and here is our android studio setup wizard so here first thing that you need to do is you, know, you need to click on next and here it is asking you know, that what type of installation you'd like to do whether you'd like to do the standard installation or you like to do the customized installation so as i have told you we are going to use our Android phone itself, right? We don't we don't want to install all the components and everything so that it becomes bulky. We, we want it to be light. We, we only uh, need to meet our purpose, right? So I'm going to you know choose custom installation and click on next. And here it is telling that what are all it, it, it will be installed. So it include Android SDK that is very important along with Android 14.0. So this is also important that API and all. And now the other three are related to virtual device and emulator. All right. So as I was talking, you need to uncheck that, right? We're not going to, you know, use uh, any virtual device. As soon as we uncheck that, you can see that 1.44 gigabyte of space we are, you know, reducing, right? Only Android SDK will need. That's a very important and the APIs. So this is fine now. Just simply click on next and click next to proceed. Click on next. So these are all it's going to be installed, fine, click on next, accept the license agreement, then click on over here, again accept the license agreement, then click on next, then again accept and click on finish. 
so now it will you know start the real uh, real download and real installation will just begin okay so you need to have active internet connection so as you can see it is fetching lot of files from internet and installing it locally on our system so android sdk apis and all that will get installed now so this will take significant amount of time so once we are done with this i'm going to again come back to this video so welcome back and now you can clearly see that it is you know installed so our android sdk is up to date we can finish over here and welcome to android studio so let's maximize this and here i'm going to you know click on this new project so this will open this new project window from here i'm going to choose empty activity click on next and here i am going to give a project name so let's give the project name as hello android and you can see that our package name is also properly set so which is you know com.example.hello android and location is also fine so minimum sdk is uh, android version 7.0 which is fine so you can see that it will support 96.3 percent of all the available devices all right and we are going to use kotlin so everything is fine just simply click on finish over here and there you go you can see that our hello android project is you know rightly started launching so what's the with hedgehog so this is our welcome note let's maximize it and uh, it is now started to set up right so uh, if this type of pop-up comes so you can just simply click on allow and you can see it is you know started uh, building our gradle so this is very important again it, it will again going to first download our gradle and going to install it locally on our system so you need to have active internet connection and it's going to also take some time all right so once we are done with all these things so setting up the component and everything libraries so once we are done with all that i'm going to get come back to this video so if you see like it is taking a lot of time like here also it is telling that sync is taking a significant amount of time to download all dependencies so i what all i'm going to say is like don't worry okay so this is totally normal so this uh, you know downloading of all the dependencies then setting all that actually takes time in android studio okay so don't worry and you know, have some patience you can grab coffee or anything and you know have some patience that's all i want to say so finally now it is all done so you can see we no longer you know running anything over here so it's properly opened our project is properly opened over here on the left side so we can close this you know message for now so here is our project so we, we are developing it is in kotlin so kotlin then main activity.kt that is the kotlin file is already been opened over here right so here is our code so if, if you you know click on this split screen it's going to show you the design over here so for that first you need to click on this build and refresh and it's going to start building our project and it's going to show you the design part over here so let's wait for a minute and there you go you can see the output right hello android so basically you know i am using uh, i3 processor i3 uh, 11 generation processor so uh, as many of my you know students are I keep on asking that uh, so I, I have i3 so whether i'll be able to install android studio i whether i'll be able to run android studio and all that so yes uh, you can do that okay i am currently doing in i3 itself so you can do that so only thing is probably we will need ssd ssd will be very helpful as you know probably if you are using hard disk then you might see some sort of lag issue but if you are using ssd i would say it is totally fine ssd 8 gb of ram and i3 11th gen or 10th gen will actually do all right so yeah so here you can see the hello world uh, sorry hello android on the design plate so let's say you want to you know change something here like let's say we have hello right so let's say we want to change with hello instead of hello let's say we are changing with hi so as we change that immediately you can see it is compiling and here it is loading and you can see the output hi and right right so 
so whatever change you are making immediately it is going to reflect it over here so now the question is how we can run uh, this project on our android phone right so for the, for that the first thing that you need to do is you need to you know uh, pick up your usb cable and you need to connect that in your laptop over that cable and your phone right so this is uh, i think every, everybody has done that so you need to connect your laptop with the usb i am currently doing that and in phone it going to ask you that whether you'd like to allow access to your phone data so you need to click on allow over here and as soon as you do that it will again ask you whether you'd like to allow usb debugging you need to again do allow for that and when you do that you can see that samsung phone sm m12 7g phone is actually gets you know recognized over here right and when uh, you get that device recognized within android studio it click on this run button so when you click on run button what happens in the background is it it you know going to start building our project and if it gets successfully builded so let's say you don't have any errors on your program so then only it will get successfully builded okay so when you, when it get successfully builded it going to push that code you know as a apk format into our phone so in our phone you will be able to see shortly that this you know hello android app going to be installed there and going to be also launched over there right so it takes some time so let's wait for some time so you can see that our installed successfully so gadel build is finished and in our phone you can see the output high android right so you can clearly see that it that is coming so only one thing that i'd like to mention is probably uh, you might not get straight forward uh, connected with your phone so that's because probably the developer option might not be enabled so for that you need to go to settings over here and uh, need to you know scroll down and here you can see that we already have developer option enabled right so that is because i have enabled that so i now i am going to show you how you can enable that so you need to have this developer option enabled so only when it is enabled then only you will be able to connect with your with your laptop okay so for that you need to you know let's first disable a developer option then only i'll show you so now i am disabling it so i have disabled it so let's go back so now you not no longer going to see that developer option right only you are seeing ab only about phone so you need to click on this about phone and then you need to click on this build number so you have to keep on clicking on this build number then it will show you this uh, the pattern so it will give the pattern and now you can see that developer mode is turned on so you have to keep on clicking this build number for some time so it doesn't matter what phone you are using you basically understood the point right you need to go to your about section then go to software information and then you need to click on the build number so you can see on google also like how you can enable a developer option on your phone so probably if you are using redmi you probably need sign in to some sort of account they will probably ask you so it varies from phone to phone but you basically understood the point right the point is you need to have developer option enabled once you have that you go back and you can see that developer option is in right now there so go there and here you need to again scroll down and need to enable this usb debugging enable that click on ok so once you have that then only it will ask you that pop up so accept this allow and you will be able to see the uh, your phone right on your android studio itself all right so that is the another point that i wanted to mention so probably in my previous videos i have already talked about this probably you might not have seen those things so that's why i wanted to repeat that again all right so yeah so that's how you enable your uh, developer option and you enable your phone uh, as a developer option and you connect that over your android studio all right so yeah that's pretty much all about this video i know this video is a bit long but uh, i hope I, I i was able to help you so i i was able to explain all the things related to android studio and how to create project and all that uh, and use your android phone itself right right 
So that's basically all about this video. I have also started a Geeky Syntax channel. So if you're interested, you can always subscribe this channel. So here I, I post, uh, you know, coding related videos. So coding and programming. So if you're interested, I'll highly recommend you to subscribe this channel. I have just newly started once I get significant amount of subscriber. I'll going to regularly post coding related videos over here. So please do, you know, subscribe this channel as well if you're interested. And I have also started a vlogging channel. So recently I was in Kashmir. So I just posted one beautiful video about Dal Lake. So again, if you are interested, you can also, you know, subscribe our Geeky Skin vlogging channel. Right. So yeah, thank you very much for watching this video. Please do like, share and subscribe. That will really help me to make more such videos. So thank you very much for watching this video and God bless you all.